A five-year-old nearly drowns at Mill Creek Municipal Park in Citronelle early this summer. News 5's Tiffany McCall has an update on the child's condition and speaks with her family, who's now asking for your help. I love you, Alexis. Three months after nearly drowning, Alexis Abraham remains in intensive care at USA Women's and Children's Hospital. And Alexis is mama. She was with her father at a park in Citronelle when police say he took his eyes off his daughter and she went into the water. She was found floating in the lake and had stopped breathing for nearly six minutes. CPR was performed. Now she's on a ventilator. A little bit of pickups. Uh, she opened her eyes. Um, her arms moved, her legs moved. But she's had a trait done and a G-tube, but nothing else. Alexis's mother, Stacy Platt, her grandmother and great-aunt are now pleading to the public for help. The Department of Human Resources told her the way to take this child home is to have a house, a four- or five-bedroom home, fully furnished. Uh, they can't bring her home that they will put her in foster care. And I don't think that's right for this child. She needs to be with her family, the people that love this child. After the drowning, the Department of Human Resources placed Alexis and her three siblings in the custody of the grandmother. They live in a mobile home in Sims. The state mandated that they get a bigger home and have it furnished before Alexis can come home. We have, we have a deadline on getting a place. If we don't have it by February 28th, the state's going to take Alexis. Stacy is unemployed and her grandmother is on disability. Both are now taking mandatory classes at the hospital to learn how to care for Alexis when she comes home, or in this case, if she comes home. It's broken my heart. I mean, this little girl is special. It would have been her first year at school. Because it's hard when you got kids and your grandkids and you got a deadline. Now the family says doctors say they've done all they can for Alexis, which is the reason she's being sent home. That they are in the process of looking for four to five bedroom homes that qualify for Section 8. They have a GoFundMe page set up. We, you can find a link to that story on WKRG.com.